Hi guys. These are some of my new friends I have made here in the end times. Anyway, it is a gorgeous day outside here in the end times in the Finger Lakes region of upstate New York on this beautiful, I believe it's Tuesday morning. It Tuesday or Wednesday. Anyway, I think it's May 22nd, 2019. A little bit chilly out there. And the little dog says he needs to go chase some squirrels in the cemetery. So before we head off chasing squirrels in the cemetery, <coughs> I don't know what you call this. Uh, is this a roundup or whatever? I just... Uh, have had the disquieting time of just going on the mainstream media news to see what's going on on the planet outside of the Finger Lakes of New York. And I don't know, I, these just came, uh, these are just a few before I said I've heard enough. So I'll, I'll go over on the science pages of Yahoo News. And the number one story on the science pages today, face mites live in your pores, eat your grease, and mate on your face while you sleep. Don't freak out, but you probably have a few dozen arachnids grinding up on the tiny shafts of hair lodged inside your face, quietly gorging themselves. That's very nice to know. And while the face mites are gorging themselves in mating on my face, what's going on over there in the shithole country of Germany? Wow. Germany relaxes rules on wolf calls. The German government on Wednesday this morning relaxed rules on culling, otherwise known as killing, wolves as the population of the predator has grown since its return to the country two decades ago. Yes. After emotional debate pitting environmental, environmental against farming concerns, the government decided that wolves can now be shot if they cause damage to livestock farmers. No shit, Sherlock. And then we're going to go down to the shithole country of Gabon there in uh, sub-Saharan Africa where we see Gabon's leader, Sachs, Sachs, vice president and forestry minister. Hmm. Gabon's leader, Ali Bongo, on Tuesday announced the dismissal of his vice president and the minister of forests in a move that comes amid a scandal over the smuggling of precious timber. Yes, uh, there have been intensifying calls for environment minister Guy Mapongo to resign in recent days in the aftermath of the theft of hundreds of seized cargo containers of Cavazingo, a rare wood considered sacred, nearly 177,000 feet of the rare hardwood were some seven point eight million dollars was found in two warehouses belonging to Chinese companies in the port of Libreville. Yes. Several suspects were arrested, but 353 of the cargo containers which had been confiscated 
mysteriously disappeared. Ha. Uh, okay. We have many versions of this story all over the mainstream media. Uh, doggy Cam catches pet sitter naked on client's couch. Hmm. This is Yahoo News is running many versions of this story. A woman hired from a reputable independent contractor WAG, a dog walking app, uh, got a rather unpleasant notification from her doggy cam. Yes, uh, Rosie Brown felt confident about leaving her two dogs with Casey Bringle, but that confidence was shattered when Brown witnessed her dog sitter sitting naked on her couch. Yes. Uh, let's see. So what does the naked dog sitter have to say for herself? Quote, Brengel explained, quote, It got hot. I don't like wearing clothes. So now WAG dog sitting service has to pay to have this woman's couch professionally cleaned, not because her two dogs were on the couch naked, but because there was a naked woman lying on their couch. WAG has promised to send a professional furniture cleaner to the house. Anyway, if anybody does not understand why that is a doomsday headline, obviously I'm having uh, a failure to communicate. I covered this story already on that other channel, Collapse Chronicles, Hallelujah, Washington, the first U.S. state to legalize human composting. Yes, uh, anyway, you can hear more about that story uh, over there on Collapse Chronicles. But the one I want to land on since we were talking about Washington State, uh, we have another one of these rankings. This is uh, from U.S. News and World Report has ranked the United States of America from best to worst. And where is, according to U.S. World News and World Report, Washington is the best state in the nation, while Louisiana, Louisiana is the biggest shithole state in, of the 50 states with Alabama uh, breathing down its neck. Yes, Washington is the best state in the nation while Louisiana and Alabama are the, the worst according to a new analysis by U.S. News and World Report. So this is how U.S. News and World Report ranks the best and worst states in the country. <clears throat> uh, they factored in health care, education, economy, infrastructure, opportunity, meaning economic opportunity, fiscal stability, crime, and coming up last and least natural environment to create its annual list of the best and worst U.S. states. 
and of course the number one thing they highlight is GDP, gross domestic product, with a GDP of $524 billion, Washington came out on top. The state's economy is largely boosted by the aerospace industry and the military and defense sector, which employs the second largest number of people in the state of Washington. So we have the aerospace industry and the military industrial complex, which is a twin sister of the aerospace industry, making Washington the number one place to live in the country. We have New Hampshire coming in number two. We have Minnesota coming in number three, Utah coming in number four, and Vermont coming in in the top five. The states, Washington state's uninsured rate is 8.8%, well below the national average of 13.8%, and its average household income is right at $71,000, over $10,000 more than the national average of around $60,000 is now the national average. So I am so proud to see that your old uninsured uh, doomsday profit is coming in at 25% of, of the national average income. All right, so glad to know where I rank. But of course, what's uh, much more of interest to people is not the number one state, but the biggest shithole state in the country on the other end of the spectrum would be the shithole state of Louisiana, which has less than one half the GDP of Washington. Just 30% of Louisiana's population has received a college education and job growth in Louisiana sits at negative 0.2% below the 1.2% national average. Louisiana's obesity rate of 36.2% is above the national average, and the state has a measly 4% rate of renewable energy usage, starkly below the nation's average. In uh, Alabama, right behind Louisiana, uh, is the second biggest shithole state in the nation with a median income of just $26,498, which is about twice my income. Uh, Alabama has above average debt at graduation, uninsured adults, obesity, preventable hospital admissions, poverty, and incarceration. There you go. So in terms of overall economy, if you just take out the overall economic statistics, Colorado coming in number one and Utah coming in just behind it, Colorado and Utah were considered the best states to live in due to their strong business environments, employment numbers, and job growth, while West Virginia and, of course, Louisiana 
we're at the bottom of overall economic conditions uh, for health care Hawaii was the best state in the nation with Massachusetts and Connecticut not far behind and due to their dismal public health and health care access and quality Mississippi and Arkansas were ranked as the two biggest shithole states in the country for health care. Uh, there you go. And who were... So we have Louisiana, the biggest shithole state, right behind it Alabama coming in number 49, halfway, you know, between uh, Alabama and Louisiana, you have the state of Mississippi coming uh, at number 48, then West Virginia, the 47th biggest shithole state. And then we have New Mexico. New Mexico, a surprising 46th uh, shithole state. Arkansas coming in at number 45. And if you want to find out where your own shithole state, New York State is right directly in the middle as the 25th best or worst, depending how you look at it. So I am choosing the 25th uh, ranking state to look for a, my new home. And uh, you can go on here and find it yourself. But anyway, I'm going to head out into the 25th biggest shithole state in the country and the little dog and I need to go chase some squirrels in the uh, in the uh, cemetery and then we need to get out there beating the bushes for where to set up shop for the end times and I suggest you be shopping for your own shithole state to live out your measly, pathetic life. Here in the collapse of global industrial civilization. Bye, guys.